What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Poison Boxes, as you know. Now I'm going to be reviewing a pay-per-view I went to. As you can see, Lesnar versus Rollins, and then you have a bunch of other crap on the back that I can't see right now. I went to this pay-per-view July 19th, 2015. It's five years ago, but this shirt still fits. I'm going to be reviewing that Battleground. 2015 and and now i want to invite someone that i just had on about probably like not even 10 minutes ago please please introduce yourself uh it's wrestling duty central air back again i'm glad to be back and now we both watch we both rewatched this. You have let um, the kickoff match is R Truth versus King Barrett. Now, I skipped through this match because I, because I don't care about this the kickoff show. But but I got to my seat. I sat down and I and I missed this match. So yeah. Good job on my part, I guess. Yeah, you didn't miss much. No, I didn't. I, I missed a good 12 minutes. But yeah. you have your Lesnar versus Rollins match. You have Rollins as world champion, which he won at, he won at WrestleMania 31. So that's why we did that one first. But then you have Brock Lesnar, which Brock Lesnar is a face. What? Brock Lesnar's a face? I know, That's right? Natural hell. But um, let's cover up this part real quick. You have Lesnar. Uh, you have Lesnar. You have Cena and Kevin Owens for a, what is it? A elimination chamber, money in the bank. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, they had these three matches, yeah. And then you have Bray Wyatt and Roman. And then you have PCB. And you know what? I saw Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. I saw Charlotte, Becky Lynch, and Sasha Banks debut live on the air. Really? Live in person. So, wow. At least I liked her five years ago, and now and now I can't stand her. <laughs> yeah. But let well, let's kick off this show with Sheamus and Randy Orton. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just sitting there minding my own business, and I and I hear. I, I hear in the background that the guy behind me says, Seamus likes potatoes. Seamus likes potatoes. <laughs> like, dude, can you, like, shut up for about, like, five seconds? I know. But That's the, so random. But the guy didn't get the, um, the, the cheer going, so thank God for that. <laughs> the cheer was, you look stupid. You look stupid. Yeah. yeah, but this match wasn't good. Yeah. Mo okay. Seamus was money in the bank, right? Mm-hmm. Mr. My he just won it, yeah. You're saying you can't have the 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 briefcase online? Yeah. You could have. I mean They've done it before, and they would have added something to the match. Because, I mean, I went into watching the match, and I wasn't too excited for it. It's not that it was a bad match, just it no. wasn't, you know. It no, didn't have anything on the line. No, it wasn't memorable. Yeah. It's just another Randy Orton Sheamus match. Yeah, I think they had a rematch at SummerSlam, too. You know what I did during yep. this match? 
I was watching the DD freak. That's how yeah. bad this match is. Just think. Yeah, they have. <laughs> just yeah, think. Yeah, I mean, they have a match title, and then five years later at SummerSlam, just an opener match for nothing. Five years later, the, their matches are still crap. Yeah. <laughs> but, that, but then you had. What was the second match? Because I, I watched this about three or four days ago. Oh. Um, I think it was New Day and uh, Primetime Players. Oh, my God. The only thing I remember about um, Tyus O'Neal is, is the greatest Royal Rumble. Yeah. Where, where Sliding under the ring. Where he slips yeah. and falls into a pile of ladders. That is yeah. the only time I'll love. That is the only time I'll love Tyus O'Neal. The rest of his career, damage. Oh well, we know yeah. where um, we know where Darren Young went five years later into the primetime <laughs> players. Yeah, that did nothing for his career. Yeah. Yeah, I think he only stuck around another year, and then he was gone. Yeah. Um, and then and then what did you have? The PCB versus Bad Match. Yeah, I think so. Or it was. Uh, I think they all had to pick one person. It was Team Bella. PCB and Team Bad. So I, it was Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and Brie Bella. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the match for their debut. Yeah. And then SummerSlam 2015. You 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 already have no that no that was 16 where the Raw Women's Championship was on the line. Yeah, Sasha and Charlotte. Yeah, they would have matches like every week on Raw, too. Now, I like that rivalry, but you but uh, but what I read online was Sasha Banks in 2016 only held the Raw Women's Championship for 28 days or less. <laughs> wow. That it's almost like they just gave her the title then just for the moment and then they take it back away. To Charlotte. That's why she... Okay. That's the only reason why she has 10 world championships. Because of Sasha Banks. Because of Sasha Banks. Yeah. You have the... You have the roadblock end of the line 2016 paper you with the Iron Women match. I love that match. Yeah. Of the ball. But then you just give it to Charlotte. Well, yeah. One week on Raw, you gave it to Sasha Banks. I know. Yeah, and then and then Charlotte would win, say, on just a random episode of SmackDown multiple times. Like, like before WrestleMania 35, she beat Asuka, and then she just lost the title to Becky Lynch. But the match I liked was a hell in the cell a year later at 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 2016s. Yeah, but but let's go to a year earlier to to, to back to this paper. You had uh, I I I really liked this match for their debut. Um, but but who won that match? Please please don't tell me it was Brie Bella. No. She actually tapped out to Charlotte. Yeah. See that? Free Bella tapped, yeah. Charlotte won, and then Charlotte wins again, then Charlotte wins again, then Charlotte wins again, then Charlotte wins again, then Charlotte wins again. Ten world championships yep. later. Dude, in like 2024, she will be tied with her father. Yeah, Probably. Man, she'll probably be the one to beat his record. It won't be John Cena or anyone. It'll just be Charlotte. It won't be John Cena. What? Okay, okay, almost finished. 
So then you have the, um, I'll always say, John Cena should have won the world title in 2014 at Night of Champions. Yeah. And, and then you have him, and, and then you have Cena versus AJ Styles at Royal Rumble 2017, just like it's planned. Yeah. And then there's your 17 time world champion. Yeah, you could have done that. Uh, I'll need to leave pretty soon, so let's get on with this. You have, then you have Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns, and then I was in the crowd, very far away from the ring, and I could see a, a mystery man attack Roman Reigns to be a Luke Harper. Like I was over the moon saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a cool moment. I mean, the match wasn't bad. Uh, towards the middle of the match, I was kind of just kind of zoning out. I was getting bored with it, but towards the end of the match, it was all right. And then you have mm-hmm. Bray Wyatt win after Luke Harper interferes, so it's and, all right. And then Luke know. Harper goes away two years later. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But then let's go to the co-main event, right? The co-main event was Cena and, and Owens. Yep. Cena and Owens for the U.S. Championship. Now I now I now I watched the Elimination Chamber match. I lo- I love that match compared to this one. Yeah. I mean, I think. You know, and they can always put on a great match, but I think that moment at Elimination Chamber was great. Just to see Owens beat Cena in his debut, you know? Yeah. Um, there was nothing memorable about this match, so we'll move on to the main event of the night with Brock Lesnar <laughs> and Seth Rollins. Now, this match was okay watching it five years later. Yeah. But watching this match in person, I got the picture of the title on my phone of him kissing the title and of the ref holding the title in the little TV. So, so, but then you have 1F5, I think, was in this match. Yeah. But but you can't even get that. Dude, and I was rooting for Brock Lesnar. Now, I'll tell you guys a little secret. I never root for Brock Lesnar. Ever. But, but five years ago, I was rooting for Brock Lesnar. Yeah. But then you have the mystery attacker. The beach. The undertaker. Yeah. Now, my friend Michael was at Survivor Series 2014. This is a year before I met him in school. So I so I know nothing about this guy yet, but I know that he likes wrestling because he used to wear wrestling shirts to class. Yeah. He told me he went Dude, and I didn't even know Survivor Series was in St. Louis. I had no idea. But he saw Sting live. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, four years later, he's saying to me, You. I want to see Sting. I want to see Sting. But, but I'm not making fun of him for that. But, like, he wants to see Sting. And then. I go to this pay-per-view about probably like three days later, I told him I went to the the event. You saw Taker? How dare you? Hey. Yeah. You got to see Sting, dude. I got to see Taker. I know. I think that's an even train. Okay, so unfortunately, unfortunately, I got a meeting in about 15 minutes. So, this has been Porter's on Bo- this has been Patrick Force on Boxings. 
signing off and i i would just like to well i would just like to say thank you to my special guest wrestling dvd central and peace out guys <laughs>